Yes, yes, it is time indeed. The time has finally arrived. The yo, the celebration continues. It's not over. It is not over. Final stop to the hip hop gala. The BDSIR network, the best damn show in World One Radio. We rock the spot R920. Sponsored by Got The Juice! Who got the juice now? We are also on Woo World Radio as well. My name is Grand Body P, your hostess for this evening and your host of the Hip Hop Gala as well. Coming this Friday, 17th of December. I hope to see you there. But if you're in other parts of the world listening on the radio right now, I'm sure you'll be there in spirit as well, man. But you might you have to witness history right now. We have a special guest in the building. But before I go into that, we're going to get into the particulars, man. You know what I mean? MikeDog36 at gmail.com. I see you sending in your submissions and all of that. Wow. I, I, I have some bad news. We're at that time of the year where it's the season to be jolly and all that. So I won't be showcasing anything like that up until, say, the new year. Okay? After the new year. After my birthday season. Okay? So hold tight. Be patient. We're good. All right. That's how it goes, man. As I said, you're, you're tuned to the Rapid for You hip hop show. Final stop to the hip hop gala. Special guest in the building. We have one of the um, one of the performers that will be um, performing there. And it'll be, a, you know, it's, it's been a long time coming. You know what I mean? Just when we thought we was coming out of lockdown and not my prime minister. He's dropped another clanger on us. We're going to talk about it all. We're going to talk about her career. We're going to talk about all the music she's done. What she's going to do in the future. Recent stuff she's been doing. People she's worked with. We're going to go through it all. Grant Body appear alongside Lecky. The Melody. The <laughs> Melody Warrior. What's going on? Well, everyone, thank you, Grant, for having me, man. I appreciate it. I think the last time you invited me over to do an interview on my part, uh oh, it, it happens, man. Yeah, I well, know. I just want to apologize for that. I feel like I've apologized before, but I'm here now, and that's important. That's the most important thing, any so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this one, this one has been pretty much a year in the making, or just over that. Yeah. And the way I remember it starting was that um, you appeared on my Redrin show, um, DJ Mega Boss Alex Scott. Yeah, yeah. You appeared on his show, and then like that after was that, ages ago that was. Yeah. yeah. And then after that aired. After that, Ed, that was a great interview, by the way. Thank you. And um, Alex Scott, big him up. He um, he called me up and he wanted you to appear on 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 this show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we tried to make that happen, and whatever. Life, uh, just life. It's just life. <laughs> you know, what I mean, that explains um, only these absence as well. It's just life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, what I mean, it happens, man. You know, so. Uh, Yo, everything for a reason, right? Yeah, man. Everything for a reason. And as I said, the reason is the hip hop garlic. See, we couldn't talk about that last year. Yeah, yeah. We can yeah. talk about it now. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. It's gonna be so sick. I'm excited. I'm excited to uh be performing with a live band again, be performing in front of people. I had a little warm-up gig um last week, I think it was. Yeah. Uh w- uh Wolverhampton uh, Warsaw campus. So I did a little thing for uh, my charity Mind. Yeah. In there, literally saw it on Facebook. Somebody was looking for some performers. I said, you know what? I, I need a little, little warm up, you know, because I need- mm. I've been out there in ages, like doing interviews and performing and that. And you know, the nerves do build up sometimes, especially when you ain't been doing it. For yeah, a while. yeah, so, yeah. You're getting out of practice. You yeah, gotta, you, you, exactly. you, you, you gotta, you gotta dust the rust off. Exactly. You know. So I went there. Went to the uni. It was. Ha- it happened at the student union, and it, you know what? There was not even a lot of people there, but it was such a nice environment to be in because I, I, I put my music on. Had my mic, had the stand, and I was just there in that space. Whether people were listening or not, I just did my thing. I was just warming up. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, that that is that is a warm up compared to what you've done in your career previously. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, before I get into that, right? As I said, our sponsor is our proud sponsors is Got the Juice. So, before you know, we even get into it, you want a drink? Yeah, let me try. 
Oh, y'all gotta love it. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> big, up, big up my dude, Spock. Oh, engineer, our producer. Here you go. There you Give go. Camera lady, you want I got the juice? Yeah. Oh, yeah, here, here you go. Yeah, man, pass it over. Down. Pass it over. It is, a, it is a celebration. You know what I mean? Repping for you 10 years. Been doing this. 10 years? Yes. 10 years. We had the 10 year anniversary Happy. show last week. Happy anniversary, man. Thank, thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. It's been a Good wild pleasure. journey. Yeah, man. You can don't you can mix with the, whatever drinks you have there as well if you wish. You know, you can you can, you can you know, take, try try to cool experiment, man. Big up our sponsors. Got the jewels. I'm gonna pick up mine as well. And and drink. Hang on. So now that we've got better acquainted, so like that with the drinks, mm -hmm. now we can really get into it right now, man. So um, yeah, man. Tell us about yourself, Lucky Brother. How you got into it, man? What do you want to know? How we got into Start it? Start from the beginning and go to the oh, end. Way back. Um. Uh. So I was I was born in Leamington Spa. Mm. That's where it all started. I yeah. moved to Birmingham when I was about seven, eight years old. Um. You know, growing up, I had an older brother who at the time used to kind of MC um, yeah. and then when I started secondary school he helped me write my first bars for my for my talent show so he my brother actually helped me write my first set of bars um, right at my at my school talent show and then from there um, it's just just been doing it been been practicing been writing songs been performing but I think you know what what's the most exciting thing for me is is the performance side of things yes I love very important I just love being on stage uh, doing what I do and for people to receive it the way I intended it to that's what I love the most it I do love very... studio as well I do love going to studio and making music and stuff but yeah. when it when it transcends into a physical space with people who you can share that uh, moment or memory or story or uh, feeling with that's for me that's the the gold Nice, yeah, nice, man. nice. Yeah, man. I mean, we, yeah, we need to um, get into that um, two-part question. Mm -hmm. Well, number one, you, you, you just mentioned that um, it was your brother that um, helped you out with your first lyrics and that. Yeah. Is he still nice MC or is he like My left it and just left it to you for, you know what? I think he wants to get back into music. My brother is sick. He's, he's sick. I've got a tune with him called Vessel out now. So yeah. if you want to go and check that, it's on YouTube. It's right. Lecky uh, featuring uh, LA Winter Vessel. And his verse, ah. alone, when you listen to the verse, you're like, right, okay. All right. He's got he's got skills with the pen, um, but he's in the, the visual world at the moment. You know, he's, he's he wanting to write books and he's wanting to um, uh, make movies. You get me? Films and stuff like that. Um, so, and he said to me the other day, he's going to jump back on the music thing. But right now, that's not what he's about. But he, mm. can, he can spit and he can write. Very, very good. Very well as well. Very good. That, yeah, man. That's awesome. We'd, we'd like to hear that. I'm like, yeah. I'm like Yo, yo, my brother's sick, and that's not me just being biased. Like I just think I, I, te I don't listen to a lot of music. Like, like in terms of like, l I listen to music, but in terms of actually loving some think and like the where that the skill comes from. I think I, I think it's maybe I'm being biased. Maybe it's because it's, <laughs> I don't know. But he's sick anyway, and anytime he comes with me with a verse, I'm like, yo, that's special. Uh, but he's not doing it at the moment now. So he's he's on other so he's he's, 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 he's multi talented yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, multi talented and then part two of, of it's very loosely because you mentioned um that you, that you like to go out there in front of crowds and things of that nature yeah yeah you, you, you mentioned earlier you had a warm up you had a warm up session yeah. with a few people yeah but yeah. before that. You've been on you've, you've been on tour like in Europe, is that right? Yeah, I've d I've done a bit a bit a bit. I, I think. What's um, Europe like, man? You know what I mean? Because well, I've been to um, Germany and I've been <laughs> I've been to <laughs> I've been to Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and them two places. The vibe and the energy, like they just love soul, hip hop, like, reggae music. You get me? So like going out there, I was. Um, yeah, went over there with DJ C Brown. Um, uh, big up, big up. C yeah. Brown. <laughs> she took us. Um, she took us to uh, Atlanta, and it was mad. Ah, uh, yes. Like, uh, that experience for me, like going to um, like America and like doing music and being part of something like that like I will forever be like grateful to her and the team and that and it was just oh, a yeah. experience because people out there different different level of 
one in one in it you get me like and that that for the artists that went out there all, all of us from Birmingham like we saw that and we was like yeah man that's you know what energy well, you know, we hope to see um, DJ Missy Brown um, at, the, at the gala hopefully yeah. or, you know God willing you know what I mean this Friday yeah, coming on the 17th yeah it's been a while since I've seen her as well yeah yeah it'd be, it'd be great to catch up as well man God bless her man because yeah, she, she, she paid for my um, birthday party last year before um, yeah yeah before b- b- before Boris decided to shut down everything mm-hmm. you know what I mean and I was thinking about that a little bit you know um, he, he started his rubbish again people you, you must know by now <laughs> <laughs> any venue that's got over 500 people if you don't have the super vaccine mm-hmm. you can't get in unless you're negative but if you have the super vaccine twice you can get in but isn't there like small small prints about la- having a negative test and all these business well that's what I'm saying yeah because I think sometimes some people don't read the small small print they're like oh we can't do this and we can't do that but they don't tell you about these other things they just say boom if you don't have this then the, the, then the entry no entry but then when you actually dig it and deep it it's like actually I can because I'm I, I tested negative actually yeah if you, te- if you test negative you're alright yeah, you, yeah. you can go in there yeah. right plan C he says because that was plan B apparently plan A was to get everyone on the super vaccine and booster and all that rubbish right plan B is what we just talked about plan C is complete lockdown but there's a plan D what's that and I'm about to unleash it on the best damn show in World Wide Radio we rock the spot Woo World Radio right here right now you see the hip hop gala? Mm-hmm. If we can't have it at the mill, dig buff, <laughs> we should take the hip hop gala to number 10. <laughs> I... That's right, we should take it to number 10. We should take DJ Springer. We should take Lecky. We should take Cupid the King. We should take Klashnikov because he's like the main event. Or we could take it down to take it down to Downing Street and just run that joint down. Because, you know, they got catch about we we having party, party, party. Mm. Meanwhile, people are dying off from the virus and, all, and they're party, party, party. Yeah, well, I just... think we should take the party down there, man. What do you think, Lecky? Oh, yeah, let's do it, man. I think we should do that. That should be planned. Wait, di- the question is, are they partying with us or? No, we kicked them out. Tra- <laughs> no, we kicked them out of their own house. <laughs> we kicked them out. <laughs> <laughs> Because my man's talking about, oh, he, he just had a baby. He just had a he just had another daughter. And I'm thinking, mm. oh, my gosh. He reproduced? Another one. Another one? Another one? Another one? She lied down and let him... Oh. Yeah, I said it. Uh-uh. I said it on World 1 Radio. I said it. Is this, is this woman younger than him? Well... How old is he? 200? <laughs> yes, yeah, said it! The man's head's tatty. Oh, my right? God. It's tatty, you know. And she laid there and let him plant two seeds in there. Lord God. Two! Not one, two! Uh, yo, there's hope for everybody, people. There's hope for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll be, all right. we'll be all right for the 17th, man. We'll be cool. Yeah, man. We, 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 should, we should be blessed. We should be blessed for the um, for, for the seventeenth. You know, what I mean, I'm sure. Um, you know, the organisers of the hip hop gala will be able to iron things out and make sure everything goes goes down nice. Because I don't want to go down there with my unvaccinated self. Yeah, I said it. And tell me, send me can't come in. Mm, okay. <laughs> Enough of all that, man. <laughs> all right, music career, man. Music career. Let's talk about influences now. Let's switch it up a little bit because mm-hmm. I've read upon you, right? And your style, you like to storytell. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm gonna test you here. I want, I want me, I want you to give me your Mount Rushmore of storytelling artists now that's four of them four yeah Mount Rushmore storytelling artists the best storytellers because I know that's what you do in my opinion yeah in your opinion yes okay um Mm, where's my got the jewels Lauren Hill Lauren Hill storyteller Make one album forever etched in history. Ever, 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 ever. Can listen to that on repeat all the time, any day. Hmm. Um. For me, as well. I 
I like doing this. <laughs> I'd say, I think Eminem's a pretty good storyteller. Eminem? Mm -hmm. You know what? I hated Stan, yeah. but I had to respect the hell out of it. Yeah. I had to respect the hell out of it. Wow. Wow. Bravo. You got on my you got on my nerves at around that time, you know, everyone was like, <laughs> Eminem, Eminem, my yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh god. Eminem, alright. Um let me see. Of all time, so hard because there's so many artists. But yeah, what we're talking like story because you got lyricists, you got storytellers, mm -hmm. you got people who just like to party, you got gangster rap, you yeah, got this, yeah, you got yeah, that. Yeah. There's so many subgenres. You know what? Early, like I, I think I'm saying this artist because I rate her and listen to her as well. Miss Dynamite. I like the way that she okay spoke about her story and her journey. And I think the third one for me would be Estelle as well. Her earlier stuff. Okay. So, so you got Lauren Hill, Eminem, Estelle, yeah. Miss Dynamite. Yeah, yeah. Mount Rushmore. That's your four. There you go. Nice. Can't can't argue with that. All four are good. Mm -hmm. I, I I love um I, I love how Estelle's was blown up. Yeah, yeah. I do I do appreciate her where she's gone and where she's going. Even like you see how her stuff that she makes now is totally different to nineteen eighty year that God made. Yeah, like, yeah. She come a long but, way from there. Yeah. But I still rate her and I still listen to her music and I love her. And the, the them three artists who I mentioned, the female artists, I mentioned them because as well that's how I look at myself in a space when I look at females and what they do and you know um, the whole rapping and the melodic right. singing so I think that's probably why I've put them three in there as well fantastic yeah. fantastic can't go wrong can't go wrong I like how you've um, mixed it up as well I like how you, two from the States and two from UK you know what I mean yeah, UK artists stand up man you know what I mean um, a, a storyteller I will mention as of late who UK is, yeah UK as of late who's really and, and I'm not really a, a UK guy like that but his name's Dave yeah he, he's something else I feel like I need to delve into Dave because I like with me, yeah. I listen I the way I listen to music is I find an artist or a track and then I'll bang out that track or that artist for ages and I won't listen to anything else. And then I'll be like boom or then I'll listen to like older stuff like the old Lauren Hill and R and B yeah. and what I grew up on. So I feel like me as an artist, I should actually delve more into what's going on now. You know, because mm. I, I, if I'm honest, I, re I don't really. And it's not a good thing to do as an Ooh, artist. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you need to stay relevant and inspired by what's going on around you. So that's right. Yeah. But yeah, um, from what I have heard of Dave, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I I, I, I agree with you there. I and agree. Rich, I do like Rich as well. Rich is Rich another Rich, one. Yeah, man. Mmm. Mmm. Some good, choice, good <laughs> choices there, man. Tell us about Lady Sanity. What in terms of what artist or collaborations? Collaborations. Or, um, me and Sunny have got a track together. It's the one song that we have together that will forever bang in my eyes. And I remember when I sent her the track to lay her verse. Um, I was in London at the time, and I told her to. I told. I asked her. I said, "Boom, can you lay a verse on this track for me?" And I was yeah. at an event. And I had to leave the event because she sent me a voice note or I think she must have sent like a, a rough demo of it. Right. So I had to leave the event because I was like, nah, this is mad. I left the event to listen to it outside the event. Mm -mm. So um, but yeah, Sanity, um, her, she's so talented. Um, she's making big moves for Birmingham at the moment. Um, and, you know, there is room and the right time for us to do something again, hopefully. Um, I've also uh, written a verse for one of her projects. I'm not sure if it's um, going to be set to release or anything, but yeah, man, I, I rate her, man. And she's inspired. And I saw her, she opened up for Children's, Children of Zeus the other um, month as well. Sick. Wicked. Wicked. So yeah, she's yeah. stepping, man. And, and, and it's nice to see that as a, a female who I've had the pleasure of working with, like just, just making the, the right moves and connections and putting 
her city on the map do you know what I mean because that's what it's about if we don't yeah. if we're not put in different places in front of different people then people aren't going to know okay that's the Birmingham sound then okay this is what you know what I mean so yeah we're trying to you know what it is we're trying to um, we're trying to knock that habit out of the, the, the states the, the, Amer- the Americans you know what I mean because <laughs> Spock knows where I'm going with this you know what I mean because they think that London is the whole of the UK yeah, it's really. You know what I mean? They don't. They, you know what I mean? They don't know the about. Is, it's not even. It's not even. It's like. It's not even London, Manchester, Birmingham. What about the other cities that are in the UK? That ah. there's, there's like artists that probably don't get the limelight. Whether it's radio, whether it's um, touring and stuff like they don't get the limelight because, well, where are you from, Stoke? Like it shouldn't matter. You know what I mean? It shouldn't. Them things shouldn't matter if the music's good and the message is good and, yeah. and and there's some popularity around it then it should be it should fly don't really matter but yeah you're right America it's all London 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 and it that's yeah it's about, yeah, yeah no, the, thing, the UK is just one London. city <laughs> you're from, London, yeah London. you gotta love them man of course of, of, of course we do man but then the same over there like one artist could be popping in one state but then in another state nobody probably knows about them because they're so big Mm, well, I mean, I, I guess we know a little bit more. All right, then we we, we know our New Yorks, our Atlantas, mm. our Carolinas, our Chicago's, um, Californias. I mean, all them, all them kind of place there. You know, you know what I mean. So, and then there's Texas, other other Houston. places, yeah. And then there's other places that probably don't even get spoken about that you you're not sure that artists are from there. Like, right, right, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it definitely is about putting on the map, and um, it's something that. I think the West Midlands, the Midlands in general, are definitely coming up and coming more about it. And I, I had an interview a couple of weeks ago, and I said the same thing about just doing things, like just doing it, like let's do these things. And even that advice to myself, like I've been very, what's the word, like very in my own head about stuff. Is it good enough? Because I don't sit with the rappers or the singers because mm. of what I do. Like I found it difficult to manoeuvre because it's like okay so I don't sing like that but I'm not flowing like these men over here or these girls over here so yeah, I just yeah, kind yeah, of sit yeah, in my yeah, own yeah, genre yeah. so like I had that constant battle and I think I'm I'm definitely pushing through it at the moment whereby um, like I just need to come out of my own head uh pat myself on the back big up my own thing big up my music um, have have faith in, in my in my source and make the music and put it out and, and just let it do what it do, does do you know what I mean and the thing is the more I hold on to things the less feedback and response I'm going to get anyway if, if I've written a song or, or made a, a, a single and I don't show it to anybody then how am I going to know if it does bang how am I going to know if it's shit how am I going to know you get me so I feel like my new year's resolution I'm going to say this now right now here we go right now is just stop sitting on my music yeah and stop overthinking and being in my head about it because if it, if it's not out it's not people ain't going to be able to hear it you get me the right. ideas I have on my laptop and I'm like oh but yeah but oh, I'm not sure about that and I just need to stop doing that well I mean if it's any consolation mm-hmm. right I know like um, big up the the jizzer from the Wu-Tang right and I know this for a fact that he he's a guy he's an artist who he'll write a rhyme yeah and you'll look at it for like half hour, an hour, whatever, right? And to us, we think that that rhyme is banging. It's off the hook. It's the jizzard, the genius. And then you'll go, nah, <laughs> scrump it up, start again. Mm. You know what I mean? You know, being a perfectionist. And, and so my thing is, if it's good for him to do something like that and then eventually come out with a new album and it's bang, it bangs, it's good for you. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. It, I mean, we, 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 we all say it, man. It's like, you are your own worst critic, I, I guess. Yeah, for real. But sometimes it can be crippling because you, mm. you sit there and you're like, oh, but... And I feel like... I, I don't feel like I've hit my full potential as an artist yet. Oh, scary thoughts there, you know? Scary thoughts. Like, Considering just, what you've done so no, far? Yeah, I've, and I'm really grateful for every opportunity, all the people I've met everywhere I've, I've performed and stuff. But I feel like in terms of the content, in terms of the production of like the output, n- not even near it. Wow. But that's me. That's me. That's me saying it to me. You get me? 
Um, and uh, maybe I am my worst critic. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it bees like that sometimes. Well, yeah, it's, it's like it's 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 recorded now. It's it's uh, yeah, you know, it's so. there. It's it's do- it's documented. It's documented. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, with that said, um, I want to go to one of the tracks that you've done. In fact, it's my favourite track that you've done to date. Okay, I'm and, interested and to the, hear what that and, is. And the tin, ca- it's got the tin car. Why are we here? Yeah, the kind, the one with a little bit of. It, yeah, it's upbeat. It's, right. pos- it's yeah, a positive yeah, vibe. Yeah. It's it, yeah, man. I mean, like that. Tell me your thought process behind that particular track. Um, it was, you know, a lot of the time when we're living, we always question, like you know, we question like what is our purpose in this life? What are we supposed to do? And sometimes on some matrix business. Sometimes <laughs> why am I like, here? <laughs> sometimes like people don't know like the reason why they are here. And I think I believe that through your experiences, through tapping into your own self meditation and stuff, I feel like you'll find the answers to the reason why you're here. Like, yeah, there's no sole reason why we are like some people would say I'm here to to make music and to to bring people positive energy. Yeah, some yeah. people would probably and and I think it's about it doesn't even have to be a creative thing. Maybe you're here to 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 be a to be a foster carer. Who knows? You get me. And mm. I think that song came from a place of allowing people. I like to allow people to question themselves when I write music because I'm constantly questioning myself. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. My my mindset and my way of thinking. I put it in my music to help the people that are listening to question themselves as well. And Why Are We Here was one of those tunes where, boom, it came out of a place like um, the producer, Tommy Wilson, big up Tommy Wilson, because he's actually produced, you know them tracks that I sent you, all the instrumentals, that's yeah. all of his thing. So he's very eclectic when it comes to the production uh, game, because he's really amazing. Um, and he sent me that and I was like, this is different from anything I've ever kind of jumped on before um and it gave me that good positive energy like you said i was thinking family vibes and all of that yeah even like the video i shot it at my mom's 50th birthday everyone all my family was like why are we here now it It was nice so um that's where it kind of stems from is like just questioning and um and sometimes you don't know the answers and you just gotta live your life and just you know certain things will just click into place like i work i work in the care sector you get me i i'm a, a resident support worker for children in the children's home now from a young age i've always looked after somebody else's kids so right. maybe my experiences of, of looking doing all that stuff has brought me to this point of oh, okay this is why i love this job maybe it hasn't maybe it hasn't like molded mm-hmm. me maybe i'm just it's just in me and um somebody made a comment to me the other day oh you're, you're a music artist and you're you look after kids what do you mean and i just look i just thought you know what what kind of foolishness these small minded people like I do oh, this God. I do this job because I enjoy it and it's good for my soul like you know what I mean looking after children and give going into work I could have the shittest morning yeah babes knows Danielle knows I could have the shittest morning I don't want to go I'm tired rare, rare, rare. She, what, she, what she'll say to me is you'll be fine when you get there because she knows me yeah soon as I get there too much joke from these children because they like I don't even see them as rude anymore like I just I just want them to have a good day you know what I mean so like, I'll come in my uh, my aura will automatically change and I'll be like I'm not even upset or tired anymore you get does me, that so? stem from because I'm nosy like this right because nosy, it's, 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 right. it's my open. it's my job you know what I mean you know some people some people are like oh, who's been looking at my who's been looking at my Facebook who's been looking at my Twitter well if you put things there people are going to see that aren't they of course if it's so that's my that's my job Don't that's b- <laughs> that's my pleasure <laughs> right and that's what I did right so does that stem from there was a certain quote you put I can't remember if it was your Instagram or your Twitter or your, I can't remember which one it was yeah right and you was basically bigging up those people who look after somebody else's kids oh yeah 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 you know what I mean and easy. the responsibility and, 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 and all that kind of thing because I ain't gonna lie mm-hmm. I, I watch the uh, you know I watch the Maury show and I get I, I crack open yeah, yeah, when yeah, Maury yeah. crosses his legs like this and he goes you are not the father and I see the guy doing cartwheels and yeah, run up yeah. and down and you see the guy going ah yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean I drop on the floor yeah. I like I like it it's, it's entertaining, entertaining it's yeah. crazy cra- but the when real you, life of it when you switch it like that now yeah yeah, yeah and the responsibility because the kids are our future and and, and all of that i don't i'm a father of none 
Do you have children who, do you have nieces and nephews? I have nieces and nephews, and yes. And what are your relationship like with them? I love them, man. Yeah, and love, I bet they look up them. to you and they, you have Yeah. Them. And this is the thing as well, like, I'm a stepmother. I'm a I'm a support worker. I've been I've looked after my nephew uh, for a short amount of time. Um, you know, all of my uh, nephew and nieces. You know, my home is always open to them. You get me? And I just think, like you're right, children are the future. They are and yes. However, I think I don't. I never had a, uh, the. I never even have a, had a, um, a bad bring upbringing. But I just think the things that maybe happened to me as a child. Yeah, like certain things. Mm. I, I wouldn't want think that right. happened to children yeah yeah, I, I yeah, yeah 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 and some of the children that i work with things have happened traumatic things mm. but i'm not going into work sometimes you see some support workers coming to work and it's just like constantly controlling the children it's not it shouldn't be like that do you know what i mean it should be a place it's a safe place to be for them because at home isn't and wasn't right you know um but i don't know um yeah i do big up anybody who's a foster carer who adopts children yes um anybody my 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 mum looks after my nephew and my niece at the moment so big up my mum as well like it's not an easy thing on my mum oh, oh, yeah so i just think it's just important to just bring up the youths them and and fill them with love and positivity because you see love nah it's undeniable like yeah. for a child to feel that Yes. That's my point. Full stop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fantastic. I, think it's I really do think it's important. Fantastic. And I believe, sir, that, that, that that's one of the main things that, you know, that captivates you. And I think you know where I'm going with that. Right? I mentioned the word captivate. Mm-hmm. You <laughs> took part in um in like in a small documentary and there was um, a track that went with it. Yeah, yeah. And it was you and a few other artists. Me, one of them including Tarju, the man called ah, Reason, um who else was on there? Anderson. Anderson one hundred, I believe his name was Anderson something like that. Yeah. And I'm so shit with names. My dyslexia is mad. <laughs> <laughs> and Darche, Darche. Yeah. Is yeah, a singer. Yes. Uh, I hope, yes. I hope I've got everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, it was really good. I was contacted from uh for uh, Punch Records to do this saying, Boom, okay, we're gonna do uh, a track dedicated to coming back out of lockdown. Yeah. Um do you want to get involved? I said, yeah, sure. So we got sent the um, instrumental, who, which was pr- uh, produced by Screamer, sick, sick producer. Um, so he sent us all the instruments. Everybody wrote their verses. We went into the studio. And I'm, I'm telling you now, yeah, like, I'm not just saying this for Spock's here, but I've been in the studio with him, yeah, and I felt that e- that good energy and engineering and, and um, uh, what's the word? Just uh, direction. You get me? He knows mm. what he's doing. Screamer is the same. Went in the studio. I was like, okay. Okay. No, same seriously? Di- same, same positive energy. And like, he was like, okay. I like, to, I, I think when it comes to studio, I like to just get lost in it. But when you've got an engineer who gives you good feedback and can just basically produce you and help get the best out of you. Yeah, oh yeah. That's what they're there to do. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Um, so we went in there, done that. And then we filmed the video at, um, in Digbuff. And it was, yeah, it was nice. It was sick, man. I enjoyed it. Yeah, doing bowling and everything. Yeah, and yeah. All, all them things. Yeah, man. I, I could have won if I was, I was in the game properly. I'm all right at bowling. Oh, <laughs> you should have went for it, man. You should have went for it and not the not amount. You know what I mean? Um, you got it. Yo, we got to give the engineer his flowers. Spark, you have to give you have to give you your flowers, man. Yeah, you, man. You, you know what I mean? And it, it, I, was, I love that Spark. He's humble, he's a humble dude. He likes to, you know what I mean? He likes to torment me behind the scenes, but I love it. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? I appreciate it, man. Mm. You know what I mean? That's like, <laughs> you see? You see? You see? I love about me. Nah, but really, um, some some engineers will just take your money and go on, and I think, like, I'm not saying that that's. It, I think it's just important, and it like to to make um, yes. people feel comfortable in the studio and just get the most out of what they're paying for and the most out yeah. of that session, you know? Yeah. Um, and some people go above and beyond, which is amazing. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, man. That's a great track right there, man. Some some of the tracks that like we've mentioned on this show right now, you know, what I mean, why are we here? Captivate the um the, the tune that the, the tune that you created with um Lady with Sanity, the, Lady Sanity, Long and, gone. and I believe you did you did a track with another man called Vital. Yes, big tune that yeah, as well. We got, we got uh my recent tune called All It Takes. Um, yes, and then yes. also featured on his Radioactive um 
uh, project, um, which, yeah, I enjoy doing that tune as well, man. Vitals, Vitals the man, like he just brings the vibes and it. So, yes, he does. Um, and when I started doing that All It Takes tune, I thought, who can I get on this track that's just going to sweeten it? And it was him, so I thought, yeah, let's do this. Uh, yeah, big ups to Vital, man. Yeah, he's definitely the life of the party. I've mm-hmm. seen him, you know, uh, 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 I've seen him on stage and he, he, he does his thing and he, he really hypes up the crowd. And I'm there thinking, man, I've got to follow that for the yeah. car. Like. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the yardstick right now, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man, that's fantastic. That is right there, man. Um, so, you know, keeping on the subject of, you know, being nosy on your social media because uh-huh. that's, you know, that's where you um that's where you express yourself on there um you, t- you i see that you're talking of um creating a christmas track you know we're in that season right now i wanted to but i wanted to there was no producers that uh no producers that um reached out to me oh Literally, dear i was putting the feelers out because i was at work right yeah all the kids at work was you know happy about christmas and all of this and i, I just started freestyling on the landing and i i wish i recorded it because i made like a little like a little like this little little christmas so no thing. no produce no and producer reached out to you no i tweeted it and I, and I just said oh is there any producers that want to create a christmas track because i was ready to like go in the studio and like just bang it out and like let's just do it and just put it out and just see what it does because you never know like i don't know anybody in in Birmingham like that's done that that's done a Christmas song like Christmas song like not like maybe like back in the day not back in the day I sound like I'm being rude not back in the day yeah yeah but I mean like <laughs> in history that's done like done one and it done something but nobody got back to me so well this is the part you know, the, 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 the days of December are running out right uh, now. yeah yeah <laughs> so I mean we, 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 we you know we, we, we're what at the time of this recording, what the tenth of December, then yeah, for December, yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that. You know what I mean? You know, next thing you know, it will be the twenty fifth. Boom, just yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Now, um, I mean, my well, thing yeah. is, my thing is out there because you know I know a, a particular producer out there in Birmingham, mm-hmm. and he's very talented. Matter of fact, Todd, you knows him very well. He did the tune Tinker eight forty six. Okay, and um, if he's listening or if he's watching YouTube right now, yo, Rexis, how come you didn't um holler at um Lecky, man? Yeah, man. Right, think- Rexis, that guy. Yeah, let me put down my drink. Yeah, <laughs> that guy. You, if you if you if you're not connected with him, mm-hmm. I'll connect you with him. All right, if you if I don't connect you with him, Todd, you will connect you with him. All right. That dude right there. I might put out the feelers then because we still got time and you know I've got yeah. rehearsals next week for uh, the, the the gala and we've still got some time in December and the thing is when when the idea's there and the juices are flowing it might be possible to just get it done get it <laughs> yeah, <you got> it. <laughs> yeah it might be possible to get it done and just get it out but um, yeah it was literally just putting out the feelers because I had a I had an idea the melody was there I was chilling uh, vibes in on the landing um and then yeah but nothing nothing came about it oh dear that is that is a shame that brings me to this let's have some fun let's have some fun real quick christmas songs right <clears throat> do you like christmas songs some of them some some of them mm. I'm, I'm, uh, that's a question that's what the answer i was looking for right name me oh god are you gonna test me oh no 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 it's not a test because the, the mount rushmore that was a test this is not really a test Go on, then. you know what i mean um tell us your favorite christmas song of all time and also tell us your worst your hated you can't stand oh, that christmas song, song i don't know what the song's called and it came on the you, other day in the car you have a good singing voice <laughs> you, can't, you can't give it a yeah. try maybe that's the t- yeah awful no, 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 no what? The fairy tale of New, New the York. Fair, the fairy tale of New York, man. I, see, even I don't know. When I hear it, I'm like, oh, okay. Mm. I don't feel Christmassy. Is that the one where it goes? <laughs> Christmas Day. Is it that one? <laughs> no, it's not. I can't sing, so that's, no. <laughs> that's, what, that's how it sounds like to me. You know what I mean? I, I don't, it sounds like that's the one you, you're talking. He's got a deep voice, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think what's my favourite Christmas song. See, Spock try to help you. <laughs> I don't know that one. Hang on the mistletoe. Oh, I do now. Now he said that, yeah. I like that one now. See, mm. that, see that one rings a bell, man. That, that, that one rings a bell. Who did that Who, one? Who's, who's, who's that? Woo! See that one? I don't want to hear well. I don't. I don't hear much. It was in that film Friday. 
Oh yes, yes, yes. Friday, yes. Friday. Christmas Friday. Whatever. The Friday after next. Come on, man. How embarrassing, man! Dem- because Dem- how embarrassing, you know? Because it's like yo, every Christmas Eve, guaranteed without fail, right? Mm-hmm. I watch Friday after next. Yeah. And I crack up. That's why scene. that just that one. Mm. Friday after the next no, Friday, every one. Christmas Eve without fact I have to watch that one yeah Mike right. Epps and them two as a duo are mm. hilarious absolutely yeah. hilarious you know Name another duo that you think's hilarious right apart from Method Man and Red Man apart from I watched How High the other day actually <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh it's empty oh it's empty oh okay so <laughs> um. another another duo like that like the Wayans brothers? Mm, no. What about uh? You know what? Will Smith, Martin Lawrence. Oh. This one. Mm. Watch. Mm. We were wandering with Morris and Brown and Sugar. <laughs> That's my favourite scene, man. Watch him swing the dead leg. Oh, Mike Lowry, yeah, I Mike Lowry, <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man, it. classic, yo, know, classic material that is, you know, yeah, man. all them film there Friday. I, I mean, I, I crack up. Uh, you know, my favorite, uh, my favorite scene. You know, the, the scene I'm talking. I mean, for one, Spock. That's where I got Gidget's gadgets from. It's from what, Friday, Friday after next. Yeah, Gidget's yeah. Ga- who says it? Uh, the the holy moly donut shop. The holy moly donut shop guy. Oh yes, yes, yes. yes. Holy moly <laughs> donut shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you're playing. Friday, you're playing around with your Gidget's it's, gadgets. It's Friday after the next. The one where he gets the security. Mm, jet, where yes. he yeah, yeah, yeah. To watch that again. Top flight. Yeah, top flight. Motherfucking security. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with Bell. Top top security guard, Craig. Yeah, yeah. Yo, he's, top security you know, in the world, I Craig. Saw, I saw his um his audition tape for Friday on Facebook the other day. You should check. I'll send you the link. If I oh, word. Um, Mike. Yeah, it was good, man. And then somebody said, obviously, if you can make Ice Cube laugh, then you got the part. And then he's in the room with Ice Cube and the writers and directors. Very good to watch, man. To see his, oh, his my first audition. Gosh, you yeah, see man. all that. I didn't even mention uh, my man. You know. Damon <laughs> Terry Crews he legit he legit disturbs me that was mm. the very first time I saw him and then the second time I saw him in the role was in White Chicks oh, so oh he's God. playing them funny roles yeah. them, them them crazy roles and I'm like yo <laughs> keep that guy away from me <laughs> he disturbs me <laughs> guy. yeah man yeah, man brilliant film see the Christmas Eve come around me gotta watch that again that's what that's what I gotta I'm say about that on my list to watch actually right after the next it's got it yeah it's got it's gotta be done man it's got it's gotta be done so yeah man yeah man the hip hop gala people 17th of December you're mm-hmm. going to see Lecky you're going to see Cupid the Key you're going to see DJ Spring on the ones and twos you're going to see a whole lot of other people you're going to see myself and of course the main event Clash Nakoff you know what I mean it's murder it's going to be yo it's going to be something have you, have you seen him perform before? no I haven't so I'm, I'm taking I'm in for a treat okay oh so I thought you've seen him before I've never seen him before no oh I, I feel like I only know that one song as well. No, you know, you know what it is with Crash the Cough. I took a trip to Spotify recently. Where's he from? He's from London. Is he from London? Mm. Okay. Uh, I took a, um, I took a trip to Spotify recently, mm-hmm. and I, I typed his name in, and I knew it's murder. And then the other tunes that followed that I was listening yeah, to, yeah, yeah. and I thought Rockstone, <laughs> he did that, and he did that, and that, and that. Oh snap! Uh huh. And then it click, you all, all clicked in. People, you in for a treat. That's all me have to say about that, man. <laughs> Yo, that, that's all we have to say about that. <laughs> wow. Okay, final question before um, you know, we close it out, and we're gonna um, treat the people, the listeners out there, and uh, and, and the viewers like to a special um, performance. Real, real quick, you got a project out there. Um, pro- procrastination, I believe it's called. Yeah, guilty of procrastination. Guilty, man. right? Yeah. So. Have you got like a story where you've you've been late for something and you you know your 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 crazy story of you being late for something because that seems to be the running theme. It's not just that album, but mm. I think you've, that oh, yeah, project the, you've the got. The one a, before that, my it was called "Sorry I'm Late." Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You seem to have a thing know, about being late, even yeah. though for this interview I was late. That was yeah. the ironic <laughs> thing about it. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I think "Sorry I'm Late" guilty of procrastination. Um, 
Sorry I'm Late came from a time of um, apologising to people about putting a project together. So that's why I put that mixtape together and, and presented it as Sorry I'm Late. Mm -hmm. um, Guilty Procrastination Now, it was about me again that whole thing about that self-doubt getting into my head about things yeah. and, um, and, and and just not doing it and just being my own worst critic um, and the tracks on there were tracks that I'd written way before I released it and I kind of just revisited them finished them and put it out but I still wanted to keep the name um, and then also I got a little cute picture of me like when I was two years old Aww. in the bathroom a little afro I love that that's one of my favourite covers of all my artworks like just me and I don't know what it is you know what I mean when <laughs> when, when artists put like a, a album cover of themselves when they was young like that it usually makes makes up for a very classic a very epic album that's my favourite project so far that I've done um, and I've also got a short EP called Not Another Love Song which I did with Baby oh J. yes yeah um, and Baby J uh, we met I can't even remember what year we met but he saw me at I Love Live once um, I gave him my CD and um, like he didn't listen to it for ages and then he contacted me he was like yeah I want to meet him with you so we had a meeting uh, we did you know we did our our, our run of artist and manager you know toured around the UK um, he actually uh, um, got me I met the flow assist through him as well um, and then later on down the line she asked me to open up for her in Wolverhampton and it was all mad and one time I, re I realised we were in Derby and I was sharing a, a fucking hammock with the flow assist I was like what the hell's going on <laughs> that's one of my best memories ever wow. like, because I, I thought yo this woman like is is she's she's just amazing and the way she performs I see me in her mm. you get me and the, the time we were in Derby I can't remember in Music Cafe, uh, cafe I think the venue's called um, yeah and she was on uh, she was sitting up <laughs> with her people up there and it was my turn to do sound check and I just thought you know what I know she's up there I need to make sure that my sound check's you know tight so I got on the stage now and I was just going in for the sound check because I wanted to impress her um, but yeah um, it worked out alright because she um, invited me on stage with her afterwards and we had a little vibe and a jam and that um, but yeah uh, I still speak to Baby J we still have a good relationship yeah um, I think he's still making music uh, but I'm yet to kind of link with him again and see what we can see what else we can kind of create um, because he, he taught me and showed me a lot of things so yeah man forever grateful for all the relationships and that that's what's up man lovely yo can't wait to actually see you in action you know what I mean live on stage at the gala you know have what I mean have you seen before I'm convinced I have maybe in Bilston um, at the Robin but I could be wrong okay. Um, but if not I'm sure you're gonna refresh my memory. I, I'll, I'll be there. I'll, I'll be there in the back, you know, in the background. You know, like Will Smith, like. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know I've what got me? a few. Um, I've got a few kind of renditions I'm doing to a couple of like classic. Like I'm doing uh, all in my grill. Twenty one questions. So gone. That, 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 that's that's enough of that. Yeah, that's enough of that. Don't, don't, like, don't, 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 don't tell it. Don't tell them everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't, don't tell it's the audience the, everything. It's for the people that, that I aren't gonna make it. And we can probably see if we can get the sh live stream in that. <laughs> um, well, yeah. But yeah. I hope you enjoy it. I feel like you're you're vibe with it, and especially with live band as well. Ooh, can't wait to do that. Man, I can't, I can't wait either, man. It's different. Everything. History is going to be made 17th of December. You know what I mean? 2021. And not a tatty head in sight to mash up the proceedings. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Hey, you got any last shout outs? Um, big up everyone tuned in. Um, Hip Hop Gala 17th. If you are tuned in and you are from the Midlands and you can make it come true because it's going to be sick. Um, and if you want to follow me on any of my social medias, it's Lecky Avenue. That's L E double K Y Avenue. Um, and big up APS Studios. APS every Studios every that. time. Every hot, time. Hot I think for the performance, I might need to take my jacket off. Lecky Avenue. <laughs> 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 on the Reppy oh, for You yeah, Hip Hop yeah. Show, the best damn show in World One Radio. We rock the spot R920 World World Radio. This is Grab Body Pure, the World World Wide DJ Coalition. Yo. Yo. Check. It's lucky. 
<laughs> Listen. Look. I'm never one to push, but I can be a little bossy. Little less patient than I first thought. Hardly ever complain, why I got a fuss for Civics off the road and so I'm stepping through that bus door Bus routes and overtime at my J-O-B And I'm still handing out copies of G-O-P Cause the music never stops, a story must be told I'm packing all this trauma in order to refold Tommy's filling up the folder, we ain't getting any younger Build a legacy so I can give it to my daughter So I can see my sunshine, can't wait till they arrive Making sure these things in place so they can live a better life And I ain't talking luxury, talking opportunity Fill them up with confidence so they never doubt their minds Hoping they look up to me, always put their trust in me Teach them what I've learnt so they never go out blind I'm always caught up in my feelings I've been drifting off and I've been overeating Depression better stop popping up in different forms Man, cause none of you are serving me Having to remind my girl, of course she's deserving me They call it potluck, I call it tough love And when they think you're doing well, you see them pop up My favourite kind of lessons are the ones that come with blessings And I'm living for the moment, man, I'm really done with stressing I'm on top like a cherry, the growth is necessary And even though I still get down, it's only temporary Entertain my inner child, drop dead Fred I'm overcoming all my fears, man, step by step Step by step, brick by brick There's something in the water and they won't take a dip There's something in the water and they all wanna sip The energy is mad man And you should never trust a madman Always know where you stand It's never been about the pay slip It's always been about how I make you feel And what I'm leaving you with Risk taker Lately I've been chasing paper And if you invest in all the right things You'll be benefiting later I'm glad I'm done with dating This love was worth the waiting Now all we gotta do is enjoy No time we wasting I was wasting precious time I'm flicking through the timeline Searching for some inspo This is not an intro Soon be in some sunshine Sipping on some fine wine But never get it twisted Cherry bees are in the case The energy set different When we step up on the stage It's okay to let go, it's the time and the place The safest of spaces Look, I'm just being honest What? I wanna bring something honest I wanna bring something true I wanna bring something different Something light, something dark, something old, something new Yeah, I wanna bring something honest I wanna bring something true I wanna bring something different, something light, something dark, something old, something new. Yeah. Yes, this is your girl Lecky, Melody Warrior. You're tuned into the Rapping for You show with Grandbody P and Only D. Boop.